Um, hello viewers, um, welcome back to this channel. On this interesting video, we see Apostle Michael Oropo um, doing um, great work of God. Please just watch this video to follow. The rod of fire. The rod of fire. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Mm. It's moving. It's moving. I'm seeing. I'm seeing the waters. The waters are moving now. The waters. The waters are moving. It's not just one, two, three, four. A fresh fire comes upon you from tonight. Take that fire. Take. Holy hey. Hey, hey, hey. I just sense that wave. And usually I can tell you the direction. If I was more active in the spirit, you are the one, come. Pardon me. I didn't come to minister. Prophet, please. Minister to this people. It's the spirit of death because it will come again. Most of the people that died, died towards September. I don't know. Is there any of you that most of the people that died, died towards September. I'm hearing that now. You are the one. The spirit is coming again. But this time it will happen. We cause death. We banish the spirit of death. You came to God's presence. Now step into life. Hallelujah. study will now, will now start bringing energy. So that when God wants to walk, we won't limit him. Because I'm limiting God now. I didn't come to minister in the spirit. I'm seeing the year 2014. And it looks like this person came into Abuja in that year. And you have been trekking and laboring in this city till now. Don't, please, don't be emotional. Take time, cast your mind, find out when you came. I'm seeing Somebody trekking. It's like eight years or so now. In this city, nothing has happened. There's a spare to keep you in bondage. It's towards the back there. Under that gallery, I saw 2014. This city has choked you. You are dying. This is my friend. Is it 2014? You okay? God. This word of knowledge. I'm boarding now. This is my friend. Is there any other person there? <laughs> Prophet, pray for him. I wish it's not. Maybe your hour has come. Your hour. <laughs> I know him, but I didn't know he came in 2014. Can you imagine? Ali Ali The first sign God will give you is that within the next 12 months you will buy a car. Hear this, it's not a gift. They can gift you something, but you will have enough money of your own, you will buy a car. Meanwhile, that's not the blessing. The blessing is that God will raise your priesthood and you will break the jinx of your family because by you, a door of prosperity has opened. Uh -huh. Just lift your hands and bless God. Uh -huh. hey. I'm seeing a vision now. 
I'm seeing somebody that looks like me in the spirit. Hear this. One, two, three. On this first three row. I don't know you in person. Like I said, they are blurry. This is a young person you have. I'm seeing ladies ahead of you. I, I, I have four elder sisters. Before I came. So I'm seeing ladies ahead of this person. And the, the pressure is much. The expectations are much. It's like everything about your family, the hope of your family is resting on you. The Lord wants to take weight off your shoulder. And the way he will do it is that he will give you speed. It's somewhere here. Somewhere here. You are young among many elderly ones. And they are girls. There's pressure. There's weight. You can't fight alone. And so I give you strength. I give you strength. The same mercy God gave me, I give you. Go forward and prosper. See, the reason God gave some of us speed, people see, they call it ambition. I just laugh. They don't know where we came from. They don't know. They don't know the things we went through. There was a period of time in my family, in five years, six persons died. All the people we trusted in. All the people we had confidence that this one we help. All died. Apart from the sickness afflicting everybody to, to rubbish. God came by mercy. Because my mother was an intercessor. And one of our prayers is, if God will not do anything, at least let him lift this boy as a consolation. I came from the womb of prayer. I came from the womb of intercession. That's why when God looks at some of us, he is mercy. My mom prayed until she was cut off. And even on, the, on her deathbed, she held my hands and said, by God, you'll be great. If some of us go down, a whole lineage will end in darkness. And so the reason God prosper is not because we are smart. I will be stupid to think I'm smart. I'll be very foolish. It's messy. And so when I saw that young man in the spirit, my heart was grieved. You are in a farm, you are everybody is confused. Nobody knows what to do. It looks as if you have come to the end. And then the finger of God appears. And it begins to guide your steps. Help you. Lead you. Not because you are perfect. Not because you are wise. It's messy. Because if you go down. Ah. The casualties will be much. So when God does things. They are deep. They are deep. If you know why God raised some people. You will not fight them. You just leave them. Because he raised, he raised them for others. And every one of you here that is a hope of a family. Every one of you here that is a hope of a people. No matter what the devil designed. Every demonic priesthood that wants to bring you down. In the name of Jesus. Now those altars catch fire. Every cause against you will not stand. By the provisions of mercy and the blood of the Lamb, rise up and prosper. You will not go down because of the sentiment of men. The evil of men, the desires of men concerning you will not come to pass. Only the counsel of God will stand. He said, He lifted the beggar from the dung heap, He raises him and causes him to stand among princes to inherit thrones. In your time, you will inherit thrones. Fear not, for the Lord is your defense. Even the Lord of hosts is a war of fire around you. No machination of darkness can bring you down. Men can have evil desires. They can plan, they can gather. You will prevail. Hear me, you will prevail. Because the mercy of God will be your defense. Hey, huh? Give the Lord thanks.
Give the Lord thanks.